Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today we have this uh, soldering station, hot air uh, for soldering SMD and uh, the iron for soldering normal components that failed and we are going to repair it. I was, uh, it was on, I was not actually soldering and I hear uh, an explosion and it turns out this uh, fuse is barred up uh, quite badly. As you can see, there is the this, the metal of the of the wire in it melted and is spread all over the glass, which means that uh, uh, a lot of current went through it, a lot of energy. This means that the fault in this one was uh, a, a really low impedance uh, short circuit, which also means that we might find inside this uh, uh, Yuhua 899D some uh, component uh, that is barred so it's easier to troubleshoot so I open it up and uh, uh, if you look in here this uh, smoky area uh, there was I will I'll put a close-up uh, view with a photo there was a resistor in this position and uh, now there is smoke the resistor escaped in smoke um, so what's uh, it it barred off because uh, that resistor failed or something else failed which led to destroying this resistor. Um, I took some time to go through the... well I asked first the manufacturer of this uh, uh, soldering station if I could get the schematic of the circuit so I could uh, find out uh, what uh, how it works uh, but uh, they said... Dear Giorgio de Mortas, thanks for your feedback we are really sorry to hear that, but we also don't have a schematic. <laughs> we don't need the, the schematic from the manufacturer because we have the product in our hands. We can get the schematic, can't we? In fact, look, look if you look in here, the problem is that resistor there. And here there are some isolation slots and if you look carefully, there is no connection between this top part of the PCB and the bottom part. Um, there is just this uh, optocoupler across this uh, slot on the PCB which means that this uh, part of the circuit is isolated this top part is isolated from the rest which is, makes it easier to get the schematic and understand what is doing uh, this uh, red and black cable they, they are the, um, the supply that comes from, from here the blue and brown they are connected to the what well, goes through the fuse that is down there and the power cord goes to the to the plug which is this one and then they come in here and these two are in parallel if you can look here with the traces uh, these two pins here are in parallel with these two and these two red wires they just go to the transformer Okay, while these uh, white and gray cables going uh, through this uh, bunch of wires, they end up to be the heater of the air gun. We are taking down the schematic and uh, not just replacing the burned uh, resistor because we want to understand if uh, that resistor uh, failed because uh, because it failed or, or something else failed which led to destroying that resistor so we want to avoid that we just replace the resistor and uh, uh, it burns up again um, so the schematic I drew of the top part of the PCB is this uh, we have the phase and neutral uh, from the uh, supply from the 230 volts uh, which is in parallel with the two red wires that goes to the primary of the transformer then there is this uh, capacitor 100 nanofarad 400 volt and this resistor 120 kilo ohm uh, which are in parallel and the, uh, they are across the 230 volts then uh, we have a triac here uh, which is basically switching on or off uh, the heating element uh, of the hot air gun uh, and this uh, switching is controlled uh, through this uh, uh, optocoupler which is a phototriac which is a MOC 
3041, which is the white chip you saw uh, earlier, which is across the isolation slot. Um, it's, uh, there is actually when you think that this uh, unit is off um, because the switches on the front are on are set to off and the displays are off this unit is not off it's actually on and the voltage is across the transformer is across this resistor and is across this capacitor and is actually also across uh, this uh, triac in fact uh, I saw other videos on YouTube where this triac failed and the heating element started to heat up up to melting the the outer gun it's not a good way of designing it uh, so this resistor burned and uh, why did it? Uh, if, if we calculate this, re all the resistors on the board are uh, one eighth of uh, watt, and uh, because this resistor is 120 kilo, if you look at this equation, you can calculate v squared over r the power that is that this resistor should dissipate is 0 0.44 watt, which is uh, two or three times uh, its rated power so that resistor is going to overheat and stay overheated anytime uh, your soldering station is connected to the mains even though the switches on the front are set to off um, have they done it on purpose? is it uh, uh, engineered to fail over a certain time when this resistor shorts out because it overheated too much? Um, here I calculated what is the minimum resistance you should have here uh, in order for uh, for it to be safe uh, on the on the power rating of the resistor. With the, a quarter watt resistor, it should be 200 kilo. Ohm, while is it not 120 kilo? Ohm. Um, so what's the purpose of having this resistor there besides just? Uh, boiling up and burning up the fuse. This capacitor here is probably there for uh, uh, comp compensating the reactive power of the transformer and uh, because it's across the main uh, it's charged so when you unplug the, the soldering station this capacitor might stay charged and might give you an electric shock uh, if you touch the the tip of the of the plug. So to avoid this, uh, you should have a resistor in parallel with a capacitor to discharge it. But this value is too low. Uh, in fact, I calculated that uh, to discharge this capacitor, that is uh, 100 nanofarad, uh, with the resistor of uh, 400 kilo, it would take uh, 200 milliseconds. So if we replace this resistor with a half mega ohm 400 kilo ohm, uh, resistor we are totally fine in uh, uh, reducing the voltage uh, across this capacitor and also uh, having a, a current across this resistor that keeps the, the dissipated power within the, the operating limits of the resistor we, we put in. So here is the resistor, 600 kilo ohms, 620. We are going to solder it here, but how do we solder it if this is the only iron we have got? I don't want to wait. Well, I've ordered another iron, but uh, I don't want to wait. Uh, uh, it arrives uh, before uh, I can repair this. So we are going to attempt something that has never been attempted before, which means uh, fixing the iron with the iron itself Ooh. so what we're gonna do is uh, since this uh, just that not having that resistor uh, the circuit works we are just going to connect uh, the original iron to it plug this one in the socket turn the unit on let this one heat up and then uh, when it's hot we're going to disconnect this one from the socket and uh, do our weld and uh, if once is not enough, we'll do it twice. Okay, we are ready. I've set up the soldering station to on from the switch in here. And uh, I'm going under the table to connect the plug in the socket.
is heating up the soldering iron and 200 degrees, 230, uh, 260 maybe it will be, um, I can rise it a bit Three hundred sixty. So I need to accumulate some heat into the into the tip of the iron. It's heating up. Yes. The sponge some water on the sponge to clean up the the tip of the iron and sounds like it's hot alright now the tip of the iron is hot we are ready to to do our weld and replace the resistor first thing I do I disconnect the the soldering station from the socket it goes off and I'm ready to go just that capacitor on the top might be charged I better short it with the screwdriver or something like that before I touch it so did you see the little spark? that was a good idea okay now There are still the leads of the old resistor in there and I hope I can fish it with the... It went away and then we need to open up the holes to insert the new resistor. With this one we can um, remove the excess Cooling down is still melting, but it feels. No, it's not hot anymore. We need to restart the heating. So just place this so it doesn't touch on the screws of the front panel, any other circuit, and I turn on again. Uh, yeah, it started from below 100 degrees. To open up the, the hole where I need to insert the resistor, sometimes it's, uh, it's nice to just use a, a, a wooden toothpick which I should have here in my drawer of stuff for soldering, this one just to open up the holes ok, 360 degrees I switch off I discharge that capacitor ok, no spark this time uh, if it is charged or, or, charged or not, it depends on um, on how much the sinusoidal wo voltage was when you when you unplug the, the socket okay this hole is open okay, this one is open too all right we are halfway through now we just need to insert the the new resistor and heat up uh, again the iron and solder it so I'm putting a quarter watt 600 kilo ohm resistor which is enough to discharge the, the capacitor to not leave any dangerous voltage on the on the plug 
and also it has a higher power rating than the original one and a much higher resistance so you should not fail again uh, this this component so now I have to be careful because those wires they will be live when I when I plug the socket in so they should not touch one the other one okay I plug it in oh. it's heating up Thirty degrees. I could have set it even higher to accumulate a bit more heat, and maybe I should leave it a bit to so that the temperature reach the, the tip of the iron. Let's do it. Disconnected. Shorting the capacitor. Did you see big spark this time? And do the weld. One. And, and the second one is made also. Alright, we can cut away the exceeding length of the wires. Close it and it should work. So a few considerations about the safety of this uh, soldering station. Um, this resistor is too small, it's gonna burn in any unit that has the same uh, resistor. If you're not using uh, this um, hot air, uh, it's best if you open your unit and disconnect this uh, cable so that you avoid that you end up melting the the hot air gun if this uh, triac fails and uh, the other thing make sure that your uh, unit has the ground uh, I've got mine with the English plug and I replaced it with the uh, with the European one but uh, this one does not have the earth uh, the third uh, connect the third pole so this one is something that uh, I should also fix in, uh, in my unit um, as soon as I get uh, uh, the, the new weld. So, uh, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, you find the high resolution photos of the board on, the, on my website. The link is in the video description. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you are interested. Uh, in more videos uh, like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.